What's up guys? Welcome into Vivid Lawn and Landscape. Just wanted to check in uh, and shoot the first video of the year. So we're here on our property in Maine. Um, I think as I said in the in the intro video, the last video there, we just built this house in Maine and um, over the over the summer of 2019. And uh, we're gonna need some landscaping. We're gonna need some, some work done. So um, as uh, coincidence would have it, the, the neighbor is doing a bunch of rock removal. Um, for their foundation or had been doing a bunch for their foundation and um, I went over and spoke to the excavator and uh, he had a bunch of, of good sized chunks of rock that uh, a ton of it uh, that he didn't know what to do with he well he didn't want to haul it out he said I'll end up most likely burying most of it um, and I so I said hey you know if uh, if you don't mind I'd like to grab some so he said take as much as you want so I kind of hit the rock gold mine and uh, quickly uh, realized or, or moved over to an area of my yard that I had envisioned uh, doing some some tiered kind of landscaping uh, too. So I'll shoot some some video of that, show you that, and we'll, we'll kind of give you some progress as we as we keep pushing it forward. But um, yeah, just figured we'd, we'd document this. Again, this is the first landscaping project of 2020, first landscaping project of the new, the new house, the, the new yard. Um, We'll, once we get the lawn going and we get that a little more established, we'll uh, we'll shoot some videos of that and talk about that a little bit. We did have that hydro seeded in the spring. I did use um, uh, Lawn Care Nuts um, Biostimulant uh, Pack and, and his guide to kind of get that lawn going. And uh, I will say that was a, a well well uh, established program or, or well-documented program and it was well worth the money uh, in, in the little cost that it did uh, take to uh, to buy the guide his his cool season guide and then to to actually buy the stimulant pack so that was that was phenomenal in terms of uh, getting it established correctly and I can kind of walk you through that process and what I actually did uh, the day of the morning of the hydro seeding I came here and I sprayed the lawn did a bunch of stuff and then followed his program uh, over the next couple weeks um, to get this lawn established and it, and it did it came in gangbusters and I can share some pictures and things of that in the fall and hopefully we'll get it going here uh, with a good jump start in the spring with the biostimulant pack again so I'm gonna switch over and kind of show you guys the wall because that's what we're working on right now and uh, and we'll document that and talk about that as we continue to go so we'll uh, we'll see you back here soon so up there guys is the uh, is the the rock pile that I was just talking about in the last uh, section of the video there that's the neighbor's house, kind of, uh, you can see the corner of it there getting built. This is the back of my house and the deck comes around. Uh, so that's the rock pile. That's where I'm grabbing all the rocks from and kind of moving down this slope here. And here's a small retaining wall here that I actually uh, had them uh, put in just because we have the walkout basement right here. And this, this I mean, it's not, re it's a retaining wall, but it's just three giant slabs of stone. And um, you'll see over here as we kind of rotate around, they did the same thing kind of up up here working their way down and then they had left a slope that kind of came down right here and what I did uh, as soon as I got these rocks these these big chunks of rocks I came in and what I want to do is I want to step this up the foundation to about there slope it up to another wall right there and then kind of go up and do the same thing and have a two-tiered uh, retaining wall set up so this is the, the rock here. A lot of it is large chunks that I've been moving one at a time in the wheelbarrow. Um, and it's just a dry, dry laid wall, uh, making sure that that first level is, is uh, sunken into the ground a couple inches and, and dead level so that we can continue to kind of, you know, place rocks on top of that. Um, try, and, try and, you know, uh, offset seams. Um, and, and level those rocks and make sure that it's secure kind of as we move up. Uh, some of these rocks are, are giant and uh, it's been a little bit of a task and a chore just to get them here and get them in, in placement and into the wall, but I think it's coming along great. I just started working on this second wall up here and getting this in and starting to kind of work that around. That's gonna kind of snake itself down and around and kind of loop around and then retain or uh, head back to the wall over there. And so we'll have a smaller uh, upper tier and then a lower tier. I'll have to obviously get some fill uh, and I'm thinking of just filling it all in with topsoil so we have 
good media for the for the plants and bushes and, and trees or trees small trees whatever we end up putting here but uh, yeah that's the retaining wall guys um, and uh, that's it I'm gonna continue cranking away and we'll give uh, we'll give you an update on this maybe I'll shoot some 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 pictures or uh, maybe another little video at the end of the day show you how far I was able to get and um, and we'll just keep cranking away one of the things that's that's been difficult is getting it level um, but also getting in here and kind of coming back in and and stuffing a bunch of little rocks in and then backfilling and then compacting around these rocks so that none of this stuff is going to move in the future uh, the plan is to get it up high enough that our soil will come across to here um, and and be sloped just so the water kind of comes over the front face of that wall and just washes that wall and hopefully we don't get any uh, drainage and undermining in the back of this wall uh, and any blowouts. These rocks are pretty heavy, so I'm, I'm thinking that I'm probably not gonna get that much of a blowout, um, but we'll see. I don't know, this is the first first large, significant dry, dry laid wall that I've ever put in, so we'll see. And there's the, the start of that second layer, so second tier. left myself this little gap here to get up in there to build this second wall you can see there my son went a little crazy with the marker paint but here's where I left the last rock so far it's coming out pretty good works its way back around snakes over there to the house I'm starting to put in some big rocks here because these are gonna mostly get buried you guys saw me loading this rock up the hill come down here and I leveled out this area cut into the hillside a little bit got an area about as big as this rock is and now I want to try and set this this face over here which is a little smoother if any of it gets exposed but you got to remember this is sloping down the hill a little bit and we're kind of stepping down as we go because it's gonna get buried up to about this point so this is where the soil will start on the house and kind of gradually drop off as it gets down to there. So here, these rocks probably right where that level is, that rock underneath there may get buried completely. So I don't really want to use good rocks, the rocks with the nice sheared flat face like this, because these rocks are going to end up being the nice, the nice rocks that I want to see in the top of the wall. So I'm going to go get a bunch of the undesirable stuff to kind of bury here in this center section that's mostly going to get buried and then as we step back on the other side over there I'll start using some of the nicer stuff again there it is guys set in place leveled this one as I determined is is pretty much going to be buried but I like that it's nice and flat it's just about level across the top of the rock which is going to give it a good platform to build on top of this as we build up higher so you can see here there's a little bit more of a gap there than I would like um, but again this is gonna end up getting buried so you're not gonna see that gap there in this dry fit wall uh, setup so let's keep going <laughs> you can really get a good angle and visual on how many of these rocks that I'm placing right now are actually going to be completely buried which is unfortunate but I don't really have the material to kind of build this area up level I guess I could have dug out where those rocks are up above and put it down into this low spot so that I was setting rocks on the level of where that wall was going to be but to be honest with you this whole yard you know this whole hill on the back of this retaining wall has been packed down uh you know with equipment 
uh, in, the, in, the, in the fall when they built the house. They ran over that hill with, with excavators or in bulldozers placing those rocks and, and excavators rather placing the rocks and then bulldozers and skid steers to kind of level the loam and pack it down and everything. So I didn't want to build up a, a wall of, of, you know, loose fill and then set these rocks on them and then try and fill in around that. I felt like that would uh, not create the, a good foundation for these walls. So these rocks are actually set on solid compacted ground uh, and then I'll just build it up from there. We've got plenty of rocks. It just ends up being more work for me in the long run moving them. But you can see, you know, once we get to where we gotta go, this is kind of the, the loose laid dry fit look that I'm gonna look for and, and uh, hopefully achieve with this. Uh, some of these areas still need to be buttoned up a little better. Uh, some of these rocks on the top level are just test fits, but uh, you can kind of get an idea on what this will look like in the end. It should be beautiful. And then of course, the two tiers with plantings and mulch and, and everything else that comes along with those landscaped beds. So yeah, let's go get another rock, guys. All right, guys, we're wrapping up the day. Didn't get as much done as I had hoped uh, on the wall. I'll take you down there and show you it now. But we made quite a bit of progress as far as getting that lower uh, level of the upper wall kind of uh, leveled and set. And like I said before, a lot of that's going to end up getting covered. So I'm going to show you a couple spots in it where there's actually some big gaps and some voids. But I'm not worried about it because it's going to end up getting covered in with soil. Um, and you can actually, uh, I'll show you that level where the soil's actually gonna start from the lower wall. So if you look, we, uh, I think, started about here. We got three or four rocks kind of laid in that lower level. And then we spent quite a bit of time over here actually working on this one. Uh, this one is where the wall, that upper wall is gonna start and kind of come away from um, this upper big boulder retaining wall. So I kind of dug in a little bit uh, to that area you can see there and got that so it was fitting nice and tight. And uh, that'll come and that'll curve around and eventually hook up with this wall here. And so you can kind of see here, there's a big void there. There's another void there. This one's kind of angled back right there. Uh, and that will end up all getting covered in. So I think uh, if you look and kind of trace over, I'll get you down eye level. So where that, about six inches below that siding is gonna come straight across. This is all gonna get covered in. That's gonna get covered. This void here is gonna get covered. And we'll see as it kind of takes shape. But that's it on the retaining wall for now. I had to move all these rocks out of this zone so I can start uh, backfilling these rocks here. I started kind of doing that a little bit and I've got my two by four that I take and uh, come in here and actually I'm using the other end so I kind of take the two by four and I come in and compact that in there and jam that all in really good so that we get a nice compact backfill as we continue to move up, all this, these crevices back here will end up getting filled in with soil and, and compacted so it'll all be nice and tight in the end, so. All right guys, that's it. That's part one of the uh, dry laid rock wall video. I'll uh, get some updates here soon. We'll uh, get you guys out here again and show you the progress. Um, once I get that first level laid, uh, or that that lower level of the upper level of the rock wall rather um, It'll go pretty quick. We'll we'll start grabbing bigger rocks and we'll kind of work the smaller rocks as we as we work our way up the wall and uh, It'll go a lot quicker and then we've got to find some capstones uh, Which are you know, hopefully flatter stones to kind of build that top layer of the wall So it looks nice and tight and then we're gonna have to order some soil uh, fill in these layers and, and levels and then we'll we'll figure out what we're gonna plant. All right guys That's it. Thanks for stopping into vivid lawn and landscape. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one